now i will discuss class 3 chopper in class 3 chopper the load current is always positive but load voltage can be either positive or negative so this can operate in operate in first or fourth quadrant the circuit diagram of class d chopper is shown in the figure and uh, when s1 and s2 s1 and s2 are thyristor resistor switch when s1 and s2 are on load voltage is positive that means the uh, point a is positive and b is negative and load current flows through the layer load from point a to point b through the load so load current is also positive and if s1 and s2 both are off off uh, but d1 and d2 are on d1 and d2 on uh, the voltage v is applied uh, across the load here and so so load voltage uh, load voltage is negative uh, voltage is negative but load current is also positive because the current flows uh, from a to b uh, inductor discharges load current is also positive it follows the path v d2 r l e d1 and v in both cases uh, load current is positive and when the one time of the switch uh, thyristor resistor switch s1 and s2 s2 are are greater than the off time load voltage is positive and when on time is less than the off time uh, load voltage is negative since load voltage vl can be positive or negative power can flow in both direction that is from source to load or load to source now i will discuss class e chopper class e chopper can be operated in any one of the fourth quadrant that means it can be operated uh, in first quadrant or second quadrant or third quadrant or th can be operated in fourth quadrant so when it is operating in the first quadrant it acts as a class a chopper and for class a operation the switch s1 and s4 are functional and then the diode d2 and s4 d2 and s4 are functional so when s1 s2 are on the current flows uh, this path so that means the current is positive and load voltage is positive and uh, during discharging discharging path of the inductor is uh, through d2 s4 d2 s4 that means load current is also positive and for second quadrant operation the switch s2 and d4 are uh, functional s2 and d4 are functional that means current flows in this in, in this directions these directions that means load current is negative and when d1 and d4 are on d1 and d4 are on the load voltage is positive so voltage is positive and load current is long negative for second quadrant operation class b operation and for third quadrant operation the switch s2 and s3 are functional s2 and s3 are on and, and the current flows from this path that means it right to left that is load current is negative and also the load voltage is negative and then s2 and d4 are on s2 and d4 are on that means inductor discharges this path that means load current is negative and for fourth quadrant operation switch s1 s2 s3 are off s1 s2 and s3 off s4 are, uh, is on and polarity of the this emf has to be reversed and so the current flows from this path that means the load current is uh, positive and then d2 and d3 is on d2 d3 is on means v is connected here so load voltage is negative so the load voltage is negative and load current is positive so the load current is 
positive but load voltage is negative giving the operation in fourth quadrant and now i will discuss uh, step up chopper for step up chopper the output voltage is greater than input voltage uh, that means the average value of the output is greater than the uh, input voltage the a circuit diagram of the step up chopper is shown in, uh, in the figure and when thyristor is on the inductor charges through this path and inductor stores energy and during the off time of the thyristor this inductor discharges through diode uh, through diode and it charges the capacitor c and it supplies the load voltage so the current will be built up in the inductance and energy uh, will be stored in the inductance when thyristor th is turned off the current will flow through diode d and charges the capacitor c energy will be transferred to the capacitor c and let the thyristor conduct for a period t on and remains off for a period t off the current i remains constant if the current remains on the energy stored in the inductance is is equal to h equal to uh, uh, voltage into current into t on voltage into current into t on on time of the thyristor and this energy is delivered to the uh, load during the off time so energy delivered to the load is equal to the, the voltage difference between the uh, inductor that is vl minus v vl minus v into i into t off so vi into t on is equal to vi minus vi into t off and calculating the vl from this above equation you get vl is equal to v into t on plus t off by t off as t on plus t off is greater than t off so vl is greater than v that means the load voltage or output voltage is greater than the input voltage so it is a step up chopper Thank you.